Now, while we do realize that it's still the preseason, uh, and we know teams aren't putting everything on full display, whether it be on offense, defense, special teams, they're not showing their hand uh, in preseason because these games just simply don't count. Uh, well, don't tell that to the Baltimore Ravens because we got that 24-game winning streak. And, and, and I, I love it. I love it and I respect it. And it makes the preseason, it makes watching the preseason games that much more exciting. Uh, but during preseason, even though the games do not count, uh, they do count for players as far as earning them roster spots. So uh, these games are not all for nothing. But sometimes we do like to see potential in some guys. We like to see some guys flash. We like to see some guys put on a show uh, because that can get us that much more excited for when they end up playing in the regular season. And our first question uh, came from my guy, Brandon, and he asked the question, I haven't heard anything from Trenton Simpson. Is he hurt? Not too much talk about him. I'm eager to see him perform and fit in. And I, I think we all are. Uh, Trenton Simpson, Ravens, third round pick uh, from Clemson. Uh, and I remember when they first drafted him uh, and Patrick Queen tweeted, sheesh. I was thinking, uh oh. Yeah, well, uh, I already thought that it was going to be the beginning of the end for Patrick Queen. But when they drafted him, I was like, oh, yeah, that, that that's a wrap. But. Patrick Queen is still with the team, which I'm extremely glad for because y'all know me. I, I want the Ravens to get everybody and to keep everybody. Uh, but anyway, we'll talk about that another day. But with Trent Simpson, I, I do feel like it's been pretty quiet surrounding Trent Simpson uh, this offseason. So I, I just really don't know the status of a Trent Simpson. Y'all, please, team, keep it clean. If there's anything that I missed when it comes to Trent Simpson, please let me know. Because uh, he's somebody, just like my guy Brandon said, that I I'm excited for. I'm, I'm excited to see what he does. I'm excited to see how he does I, and, and exactly how Mike McDonald uses him, exactly how Mike McDonald can tap into the potential that the Baltimore Ravens saw when they drafted him in the third round this year. And, and exactly are they going to have him uh, rushing the pass? Are they going to have him dropping back? Are they going to have him blitzing? Uh, just really doing a little bit of everything. Where are they going to have him lined up? At? It, it's just it's fun to think about that. Like it's, it's fun like this. You all know, too. Well, I've been one. I've been one Ravens to do it on offense for the longest, and this year they finally did it. But it's fun when you have so many different weapons. It's fun to just imagine how they'll all be and how they all fit on the field together. We've been wanting that on offense for the longest. Now we finally got it. But on defense, it's been a thing where they've pretty much been doing it every year. Um, but this year too, it, this year is no different. Because you got, of course, Roquan Smith, and you got Patrick Queen. Uh, but then you got guys like a Jadavian Clowney. You got a Dafe Away. You got David Ajabo. You got Trenton Simpson now. You got Kyle Hamilton. Mm, right now, you don't have Marlon Humphrey or Rocky Scene for now. Uh, but those guys will be back soon enough. Uh, but just to see and wonder how they'll use Trent Simpson is interesting. And it maybe it won't truly be something that we won't truly see. Uh, until week one of the regular season uh, but until then we'll just wait it out next question came from my guy michael and he said this is my first time uh, he said hey team keep it clean i've been a long time subscriber for years now and love the platforms hey i appreciate that mike thank you man he said but i'm a ravens fan that never been to a ravens game so i'm planning on going to my first game against the texans so i know you've been to a game what should i expect I wanted to know what's the difference between watching at home and watching in the stadium. Oh man, oh yeah, hey. man, you 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 got me hyped for you, man. I, I, I'm I'm real happy for you, man. It's your first time going, and it's gonna be a home game. And, ooh, and it's week one too, man. Like you, like th there's no wrong Ravens game to go to, uh, but you sure picked a really good one because with all the the hype and all the excitement that we have and, and just all the uh we're just ready ready to see these baltimore ravens play and we're ready to see all the starters be out there we're ready to see this full team be put on display you you get to watch it live um what should you expect what's the difference between watching it at home versus watching it at at the actual stadium uh the energy because because you're right there like in the middle of everything and I know, like, sometimes my wife would be like, would she, when she's, if I'm looking at a game or something, uh, she'll be like, oh, let's, let's get, uh, she'd be thinking, oh, we should sit in, like, one of the suites or something. I'm like, no, I want to be out there, man. I want to be out there, like, with everybody in the crowd because it's just different. Like, being in a suite, yeah, cool, you get all the food and stuff and the AC. I don't care about none of that during the game. That, that, that's just me. I don't care about none of that, though. Uh, I want to be out there in the heat, in whatever the weather is. If it's cold, I don't like the cold. But still, I want to be out there um, because just hearing the crowd cheer or boo after a great play or a terrible play or 
whatever it is it's just different man and it's 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 so much fun man it's so much you i promise you're gonna love it you're gonna love me you're gonna love it more if the ravens win uh but you 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 will love it i guarantee you um the big difference between being there versus watching on tv uh first and foremost just the player entrances that is one thing again ravens do such a great job with the fan experience i always say that man uh so get there early please get there early be there by 12 50 kickoff is at 1 p.m i believe so be there by 12 don't be there by 12 50 make sure you are in the stadium i say i really say by 12 it's, it's, it's your first game you know what no go tailgate Go tailgate. Just go walk around. Go walk up and down. Ravens walk and whatnot. Go to the different lots. See if you can get there at about um what time the players come in? <sighs> I think they come in at about the game starts at one. So the players probably start coming in about eleven thirty, I believe. Is it lot what lot is that? It's the lot where all the fans line up across the gate. What you could do is get there about eleven. And I forgot what lot it is. I know Somebody in Team Keep It Clean gonna know and they they could put it in the comment section for us. But the 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 lot where all the players park at and then they walk in. So you can see all the players walking in and stuff, and that's a it's a cool experience. So get there at eleven. I think they walk in at about eleven thirty. Um and if you don't know which lot it is, because I don't know which lot it is, you can just walk around the stadium and you'll run into it. Because you'll you'll see fans lined up and you'll see a gate for people to walk in at and, and you'll be able to see everybody there. Um so get there at eleven, do that, and then you can do some tailgating. You can walk around the stadium and whatnot. Walk around outside the stadium to the different lots and whatnot. Walk up and down Ravens Walk. I know a lot of people like going to see the statues and stuff with Ray Lewis and uh, and United and whatnot. And so you go do that. Go go do that. Just have that full experience. If this is your first game, do everything because it's it ain't nothing like it. I promise you, man. You're gonna love it, man. You're really gonna love it. Um, then get to your seat. I say get to your seat. Probably like by twelve thirty, you'd be straight. Um, and just like, even before you even get to your seat, when you walk into the stadium, you see all these Ravens fans. Of course, it's gonna be some Texans fans there. It's gonna be a couple of them, but it's gonna be mostly Ravens fans. It's gonna be cool to just be around that. And then when you, after you enter the stadium, then you enter the section where your seat is in. Just walk into your seat, and then you start looking around and stuff. It's gonna be like, oh man. Like, especially it being your first time being there, it ain't gonna be nothing like it, man. You gonna you gonna love it. You are gonna fall in love before before the game even start. I guarantee you. Um, what else? So and then yeah, the play entrances usually start about like twelve fifty, uh, about ten minutes before the game, ten minutes before kickoff and whatnot. Uh, during the game, big difference. You ain't got no commentary, <laughs> so. <laughs> You ain't got to hear whoever the broadcast, I mean, whoever the commentators are on CBS. Um, so it's just going to be you and whatever fans sit next to you and whatnot. Um, so that that's going to be your commentary. Um, and wherever you're sitting at, if you're sitting like around the 50-yard line, hey, cool. I mean, really, any seat is good. You're going to be able to see. You're gonna, every single seat has its good stuff and some have their bad stuff too. But you're going to be able to see wherever you sit at. Um so yeah, the the big screens. Just in case, if you have a seat where, say for instance, you on one, you on uh, the the visiting end zone, whatever, you on you sitting in an end zone seat, then that means when the offense is, whether the Ravens offense, or Texans offense, if the offense is in the red zone, you'll be able to see really good, and you won't have to look at the screen because you'll be sitting in the end zone. But if they're on the opposite end where you sitting at, you might not really be able to see as much. But they got the screens for that, so. Again, you wherever you say that, you taking care of. You're gonna be straight, man. You gotta be straight because you got the big super HD screens, these 12K screens up uh, that the Ravens put it. Well, how long did they put in that? Like three, four years ago, I think something like that. But anyway, you you gonna love it, man. You gonna love it. Anybody else you want to put anything, any suggestions for me in the comment section too? Feel free. Go go edit, but you will love it. I guarantee it. You will love it so much. And by the time, not even by, before the game even starts, but definitely once the game does start, but before the game even starts, you already going to be looking up, hey, when the next time Ravens going to play near me so I could go again? The next question came from my guy Jarvis. He said, it's been a while since I had a question for you, so here I go. With the failed drafting of Hollywood, what? That, that was not a failure. It wasn't a failure of a drafting at all. So, I mean, you... That's how you starting off like well, anyway, let's keep going. He said with the failure uh, excuse me, with the failed drafting of Hollywood, if you could go back to that draft night, who would you have selected instead of Hollywood? 
Uh, keep up the good work, Mr. Clean. And I know you're hype about the season, especially fi- <laughs> especially finally getting to see Clowny as a Raven. LOL. Also, how do you see Hollywood career panning out? Because he's been a no show since he left us. No, he hasn't been. He was kill- He was the- actually one of the top receivers in the league, numbers wise, and then he got hurt. That's what it was. He got hurt last year. That's, that's what it was. He was doing just fine, but the injury got him. Uh, he said, last question, which Raven do you think will have a great season? I say Lamar for sure. Um, the Ravens wide, the Ravens pass catchers as a whole. Um, everybody who catches passes because they can really feed off of each other. Uh, and I think that Ra- Ravens offense can help the Ravens defense have a great season and just make their lives a lot easier. And hopefully they can mask Marlon Humphrey being out. I know, of course, there are going to be some some hiccups here and there, of course, because you ain't got Marlon Humphrey, so that's a big loss. But uh, to absorb the blow, Ravens offense will really have to um, just take, take care of them. Uh, but really going back, uh, who would I have taken – Instead of Hollywood, I I feel like you, you phrased that like Hollywood was a bad pick. He wasn't. He wasn't. Hollywood, and he did his thing, like literally for the first game with the Ravens. And then even the second game. Remember, first game, what he had them two touchdowns. His first catch was a long touchdown, and he had another long touchdown too. Uh, so he was killing them that, that first game against the in Miami, against the Dolphins. We were there. Hey, that, man, that might have been mm, probably favorite live game of the – no – well, one of them, I, I got a couple of favorite live games that we went to from Lamar Jackson. Uh, probably that one for sure, but also the one uh, the year before, his rookie year. Being at the Week 17, ooh, that game was crazy, man. Week That Week 17 game was crazy, man. Well, yeah, Week 17 because uh, they ain't have 18. I mean, they ain't have 17 games back then. But um, when he was a rookie with him versus Baker Mayfield for the division, at MIT Bank. Oh my God. Anyway, we are getting off subject. Um, but Hollywood, yeah, he showed out that first game. Then the second game too. I remember I, we we was at that second game too. A week the 2019 season because we went to the game in Miami. Then we flew up to Baltimore the very next week to go to that game too against the Cardinals. And Hollywood made that clutch catch. And Lamar made that clutch throw at the very end. And it was it was beautiful, man. Uh, but Hollywood wasn't a bad pick, man. He was not a bad pick. He came did his thing. Did he have some drops? Yeah, he did. But did he make a bunch of plays for the Ravens? Yeah, he did. Um, so I, I wouldn't even look back and be like, oh, you know what? I would have drafted him. Now, there's some other good receivers in that draft for sure, for sure. Um, but I don't think it was a failure of the Ravens to draft Hollywood. And the last question on this special episode, a question from Subs right before our preseason game against the Commanders tonight, which will be live streaming. I hope to see you all there. Uh, it came from my guy, Liam. He said, hello, Engraven. Hope you and the family are having a wonderful day. Yes, this Monday is starting off great. Hopefully it finishes off great with the Ravens winning, even though it is preseason, but still. He said, this is my first question being sent to Team Keep It Clean. I've been watching you for over three years now. Uh, yeah, back. <laughs> Hey, hey. <laughs> he said, I've been watching you for over three years now. Yeah, back when you put yourself in your thumbnails. Hey, man. Because I just ain't no, but, and I was still like the thumbnails now, they ain't nothing crazy, man. But it's a process, man. It's a process. I even look at thumbnails from like two years ago and just some, um, I've been looking at them now. Be like, Ugh. But it's a process, man. This whole This whole thing, as you know, has been. A process but I, I appreciate you just hanging out for the process and hanging around and whatnot um but yeah man the thumbnail part oh I used to be so frustrated because I just I did not know how to make them at all like and again now they ain't they ain't nothing crazy they super 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 basic even now but I just did not know how to so I just had to take a picture myself uh and it, that was that so shout out to anybody that was there through that almost like cringe. <laughs> I appreciate that, Leo. I appreciate you uh, bringing that up, man. They said, anyway, back to my original question. What are your predictions for this year's Baltimore Ravens? Tw- oh, I can't do this one. What are your predictions for this year's Baltimore Ravens 2023-53 man roster? Who are some of your dark horses to make it, and who do you have getting cut by the team? Also, who do you think will be this year's MVP, Offensive Player of the Year, Defensive Player of the Year, Comeback Player of the Year, Offense and Defensive Rookie of the Year, 
Let me know what you think. And as always, team, keep it clean. Appreciate that, Liam. So, um, I can do some predictions for the 53 man roster. I can't do the whole thing. Um, I think Lamar Jackson is going to make it. Now, that number two quarterback position now. Hold up now. Uh, as of preseason week one, that's Tyler Huntley's job. But now Tyler Huntley's hurt. Uh, I think he'll be straight by next week. But that's just me. I ain't hear nothing. I don't know nothing. Y'all know I'm an NFL outsider. So no sources, no plugs, no nothing. But anyway, um, as of the first preseason game, it's Tyler Huntley's. Will they keep three quarterbacks? Um, hmm. They do have that, that rule where you can have a third one on game day. Something, I forgot exactly what the rule is. Now, I don't know it, with that rule if that, the quarterback, the third quarterback can be brought up from the practice squad to fulfill that rule or they have to be on the active roster. I don't know. If they can be on a practice squad, then I think they'll only keep two. If they can be brought up from the practice squad, then I mean, if they have to be on the active roster, then I think they'll keep three. But if they can be brought up from the practice squad, then I think they'll keep two. Uh, as far as running backs, uh, right now, after the first preseason game, I think Keith Mitchell makes it. I think Melvin Gordon is actually the odd man out. I think it ends up being J.K., Gus Edwards, Justice Hill, and Keith Mitchell. Uh, wide receivers, we know the top five already. As far as six right now, I think it's Tylen Wallace. Um, in order for Tylen Wallace to be supplanted, somebody to take over for him, somebody would just have to go out there and destroy everything in a good way as a wide receiver. Like, they would have to just kill it. Um, and yeah, uh, so that's that's really all I got for the 53-man roster because we'll be here forever if we go down every position. Um, some of my dark horses to make it uh, on the team, um, it was before the preseason game, it was Shamar Bridges. It, it, it was Shamar Bridges, but um, hey, we got two preseason games to go, so we'll see. Like he would again, he would have to, for him to make it over Tyler Wallace, especially Tyler Wallace being drafted. What he's a fourth round pick a couple years ago. Him being drafted, he got the leg up. Ravens really like him, so he got the leg up. Uh, but Shamar Bridges would really have to just show out like crazy, and Tyler Wallace be on special teams too. Oof. So again, that's why I feel like Tyler Wallace. Not that he got it on lock, but he he holding it down right now. Um, so we'll see. Uh. Who do I have getting cut by the team? Um, again, Melvin Gordon, I don't think that he'll make it. As of right now, of course, things could change. But Melvin Gordon, um, I could see James Prochet. Because, uh, again, it's just – it's sad how everything just – how it's been. It just – it had, I don't think it's, it's worked out. Um, and, I mean, I don't even really got to go down to all the other receivers. Because I, I, I think right now Tyler Wallace is going to be the one to make it. But that mean every all them other receivers get cut. Uh, so yeah, I would like to see some more from Laquan Treadwell too to see what he can do. Um, but yeah, I think Tyler, that's Tyler Wallace's spot. Obviously, there's still the practice squad for all the receivers and stuff, and all these other players and stuff too. Um, and I think a, a, a dog horse to possibly get cut. It would be crazy. And I said it before, it would be crazy. Like, would be Pat Ricard. Yeah. It would be crazy. But, I don't know. Again, they trying them out all these different places. I don't know. So, and then, I don't know. Again, I don't think he'll be cut. But, you said dark horse. That would be a dog, dog horse, like a horse dogger than me. But anyway, um, he also said, uh, who do you think will be this year's MVP? Lamar. Offensive player of the year? Lamar. Uh, defensive player of the year? Mm, that's a good one. Um, Roquan Smith. I feel, like, I feel. I mean, obviously, Lamar, I feel like it's an easy answer for those first two. Roquan Smith is an easy answer for the second one the defensive player of the year but if i gotta choose somebody besides lamar for like mvp and uh or for somebody besides lamar for offensive player of the year i will go bateman i go rashad bateman bateman man i've been talking you up all this all, all the off season man i know you're gonna come through i know you're gonna come through and show them why you are receiver one uno you might wear number seven but you are receiver one um so bateman uh, defensive player of the year Besides Roquan I'm going to say this is his year This is our guy's year to turn the corner Adafi away Defensive player of the year for the Ravens And I know, ooh, I know that will sound real crazy But hopefully looking back at this video After the season's over will be like oh yeah 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 That was right Um, Comeback player of the year 
Well, I mean Lamar because he missed the end of last year, and now he came back. <laughs> so, uh, and then offensive, the offensive and defensive rookie, the offensive. Uh, I go Zay, uh, defensive. Um, just on the Ravens. Uh, well, maybe Trenton Simpson, the guy we talked about at the top of this video. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if my uh, predictions end up coming out to be. True or false I love y'all team Keep it clean I appreciate y'all Make sure you subscribe to the channel Leave a like on the video So you don't miss nothing And I will see you all Even though you know these Ravens They probably up to something They probably gonna end up doing something Between now and the preseason game But I'm telling y'all I'll see y'all for the live stream For the preseason game tonight But it'll probably end up being Before then Knowing how these Ravens get down I love y'all <laughs> I'll see y'all soon man We out